That might be the worst call I've ever seen in my entire life in the satellites. Why does it have to be against me? Like, why do I not just win the 50-50? Like, this is, this is like noob material. That is insane. That is so insane. How the how in the world does this just happen? This makes it so, oh my god. Like, he, like guys, he cannot call with kings there. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today, you're going to be taking a look at a really, really cool hand. It's from a 215 satellite into the 25k uh, during WCOOP. It was played by Lex Valdhaus and I saw this hand on Instagram and I thought I've got to make a video about this because Lex calls it the worst call ever. So today we're going to find out if that's true or maybe it's actually all right. Let's find out. So as I said then, it's a 215 sati into the 25k during WCOOP, the World Championship of Online Poker. You can see that Villain here uh, in EP has opened up for 2.1x and Lex shoves Ace King off here uh, for around 40 bigs, but it's not 40 bigs uh, effective. I mean, it's kind of close though, probably something like 37, 38 bigs effective against the opener. Uh, there's nine players left here and there are four seats and this satellite actually overlaid by, by quite a lot. So you can see Lex is in first place here, first of nine, nine players left, four paid, and the decision is back on the opener. All right, so as you can see, the opener actually calls with pocket jacks in, in this spot and Lex thinks this is the worst call ever. So we can actually find out right now. All right, so I've loaded it into Holden Resources Calculator this is the range of the opener. So you can see all suited aces, ace nine off plus, king jack off, king nine suited, queen 10 suited, jack 10 suited, sevens plus roughly, plus a few other hands on the edges. And then if we go along to, uh, to Lex here, uh, this is his strategy. So you've got uh, the hands in purple, which are a call, hands in the sort of pinky salmony color are a uh, three bet and the hands in green are a jam and you can see there that ace king off wants to go ahead and jam 97 percent of the time so thumbs up for lex for getting this jam spot on so now let's take a look at what the original razor should call with once lex jams and this is the range so kings plus and um yeah ace king suited about 86 percent of the time ace king off 72 percent of the time he actually called with pocket jacks and we can have a look here that's losing twelve hundred and fifteen dollars, which is what, like five buy-ins, something like that. Well, actually, Lex, he can call with pocket kings, but yeah, you you're right. The jacks is not a good call. So yeah, pretty pretty bad call. I'm not sure if I would say that it's the worst call ever, but it seems pretty bad, and it's losing money. It's a minus EV, minus dollar EV call. So yeah, not something that I would advise uh, doing. Or you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be calling with uh, with pocket jacks in this spot. Obviously, it's really easy for me right now to say that because I'm looking at the solution and I can say, yeah, jacks is just, uh, yeah, just an easy fold. Why, why would you call with jacks? But I think it's a really, really interesting situation, interesting spot. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not sure I would call it the worst call ever, but it does seem pretty bad. What do you think? Do you think this is a really bad call, or do you think it's actually okay? Still nine left, only four places paid. You know, are you gonna go against what the solver, what the software says here? Or are you gonna trust the software and go with just Kings Plus? Let me know in the comments and I'll be back soon with a brand new video. But until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.